Hello everyone, this is the Wandering Quill back again with another comic impressions episode here on the channel. Now this comic that I'm about to present you all comes courtesy of Nicholas Doan who wrote and created the story as well as Jake Bilbo, or Bilbo, uh, apologies if I butcher your last name, who illustrated the comic book. Now today, this comic book really is truly a what-if scenario in historical fiction. And that is, of course, The Kid and the Ripper. Now, The Kid and the Ripper follows a simple premise. What if Jack the Ripper didn't die, somehow fled the UK, and on his way to the United States, he ran into one of the famous gunslingers and outlaws of the American West. Hence, you have the Kid and the Ripper. Now, the artwork in this is very, very unique, very, very stylish. I really appreciate the color, the panel. However, do not let that fool you, because when it comes to the Ripper scenes, the artist really goes in detail to showcase the violence of the Ripper. So, just be aware of that. And honestly, that really fits well with the character. It would be really odd if the Ripper wasn't his sadistic, maniacal self as we've known him in history. And what's really cool is the characterization, or rather the depictions, of Billy the Kid and Jack the Ripper. Now, initially, uh, they start off as, you know, colleagues, compadres in the American West. And Billy likes that, you know, oh, he's a fellow killer like himself. But he begins to see that Ripper is more than just a killer. He's a monster. He's an animal. And honestly... This whole story then devolves into Billy wanting to kill Jack the Ripper. Now, I don't want to give any more spoilers than that, but honestly, it is quite an interesting tale. I mean, the cover itself is really, really striking. I mean, you have this elegant Englishman who's also a serial killer and, of course, one of the famous gunslingers right here. Brennan seeing their iconic tools of destruction and mayhem, the knife and the revolver. And there are chapters in this graphic novel. There are a total of four chapters, if I'm not mistaken. And it's such a good story because it really does imagine if these two individuals ever met in history, what would happen? And what follows is a great Western thriller which grabs you by your belt buckles, no pun intended. And honestly... I absolutely love the artwork. I love the story. It really intrigued the history side of me. And that it takes me back to the American West. And quite honestly, if you enjoy uh, the American West, if you enjoy thrillers, suspense, mystery, and mayhem, you will definitely enjoy The Kid and the Ripper by Nicholas Doan and Jack Bilbo because I 100% recommend this. Now, my overall rating for this story, I will definitely say it would definitely would be a 4. Now, as I said in the beginning, the violence in this comic is generally on Jack's side, which the uh, illustrator goes in great detail to showcase the violence of this individual. Now, if you are squeamish to that, then this may not be the book for you. But if you can get behind that, then you will love this comic. I will link it down below in the description of this video, as well as the handles of the creators behind the Ken the Ripper for you to go and check them out and to show them your support. Well, I hope you enjoyed another Comic Impressions episode here on the channel. I will see you all very soon in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day.